What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a 100% virtual instrument demo. Alright, so we're going to do a demo of one of my first songs from Icarus Descent. I'm going to do a demo of Rupture just to show you guys kind of how I I'm going demoing that song. I'm going to start with the drums here. I'm going to show you guys a four measure demo. For the drums I'm using, get good drums. It's the Matt Halpern signature kit, the first one they came on with. I absolutely love this kit. It just sounds so great. Great samples, and it doesn't really take all that much to get them to sound good. It's just a little bit of processing. <clears throat> Splash on that accent snare drum. <clears throat> there we go. So they copy that over. Alright, now let's do the bass. For bass, I'm just using Impact Studios Ding Walls. I use a blend of Inferno and Avalanche just to kind of give a really full sound. With Inferno, you get a lot of clankiness and a lot less low end out of it. It's kind of a signature dingwall sound. The Inferno is based off of an NG2, or, you know, the original. The original one that Nolly's bass is based off of. And then, Avalanche, or the Afterburner, Afterburner bass. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I blend those two together I dropped the avalanche down just a little bit, just because it's got a lot more bassy sound to it than the than the inferno. And when you bun them together, it creates a nice full spectrum bass sound. So here we'll start putting that in. The original song was on F or F sharp, I think. We're gonna do it in G. Let's do G. I gotta think of how that melody goes. And I'm gonna show that there. Yeah, the nice thing about Reaper is you if you select multiple MIDI items, it'll show you both at the same time. And then that way you can kind of copy over the notes to the bass drums if you're following the bass drum with a syncopated riff. Like here, I can see the bass kicks. And then I'll just copy them there. That way, it's easier to know where the notes start and end. Let's see how that. That's gotta be pretty similar. to make it sound realistic, especially when you're using a virtual instrument. Which, speaking of, for the guitars, I'm using Solemn Tones Odin 2. This is the best that I've tried so far for virtual instrument guitars. It really doesn't take too much to get it to sound realistic. I mean, just a few few changes on the settings honestly. But yeah, we're using Odin 2 for the guitars. Let's see. I'm gonna slow that playback down a little bit just to kind of focus on it more. Alright, yeah, so right away 
there, I can kind of tell it sounds a little fake, for lack of a better word. So, let's put some accent notes in there. This percussive chunk, this, this right here alone, massively improves your realism by adding all these extra little sounds in between notes and everything you can get a lot more realism yeah just like that and i'm gonna copy copy that and just move those right over to there where it repeats okay and then i want to add mutes in here See. I just move over here, and that should pretty much be the riff. Yep. Okay. Now I want to go back to that bass. I'm going to add some ghost notes in here. Just like I did with the guitar. Just to kind of even it up a little bit. And then we're going to double that up with the right guitar now. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how this sounds here. There you've got a great sounding rhythm section, and that's 100% virtual instrument. Now we're going to move on to the leads. For my dirty leads, I'm using Real 8 by Music Lab. I, I still use this just for my leads and layered channels, just because it's got more, more articulations and key switches. Like you can do pinch harmonics, different kinds of slides, and you can even change the variance of each slide and bend. The humanized tab on this is a lot more precise and you can select different items such as velocity, pitch, how different the pitch is, timing of the attack, stroke time, strum time, tremolo, all that. Pick position even so you can get different tones. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Right, let's see how that sounds. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's see how that sounds. Alright. Yeah, you can hear there. It's not too high in it. But it's not too low. It's enough to add like an extra background space. do with is this plugin right here this is hands down the best reverb plugin you can even use right now for just huge massive ambient reverbs definitely my go-to reverb for sure for everything layer wise all right so let's move on to the clean lead here and for that I'm also using Real 8. Gives that nice humbucker, humbucker clean, smooth cleans. I like to use the harmonics key switch just because that way it's not so pick attacky sounding, not so sharp. Let's do like a basic, basic kind of sound. I'll usually double, double those up, just mimic them together, that way it creates a more sparkly tone, because the only difference here between these two, my stride and clean lead, 
is that one is real strat by music lab instead of real eight that way i can get these more spanky strat tones i usually blend those two together to mimic these three layers just because they sound really good together i'm gonna octave that it's already an octave piano i'm using rfx nexus for this grand piano octave filter it off a little bit about three quarters of the way lots of good sounds out of rfx nexus if you're not using it already see how these three sound together Nice and spacey. Alright, now we're going to move on to my favorite new plugin. This is the Arturia Prophet 5. This thing just is amazing. I love every single sound that comes out of this thing. Great for like 80s pop synth vibes. Or even just creating layers, like sauce and some stuff like that. And actually, let's mimic the main line with this. Just to kind of thicken up the guitar a little bit. Which octave is that in? That's going to be too low, I just know it. Let's try this one. Let's go. Let's go up one more. See how that sounds. That's good. Let's go with the choir first. Choir. I'm also using RFX Nexus, and this is a preset I made. Just kind of based off another orchestral choir preset. I filter it off quite a bit usually, just because it kind of sits low in the low in the mix. But for this one, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, about, about 90 out of the 127. This this patch always reminds me of like Skyrim type music, and I love that. I use this one all the time. Great choir orchestral sound. It's harmonized with the this three layer. See see how this layer boss just sounds in general. Yeah, nice spacey. Actually, I'm going to up the profit one more octave. I know I've done that like three times already. See how this sounds. Oh yeah. This I usually use just as a, like a very low sub synth. It's still RFX Nexus, but it's a tape string patch. And I usually keep it filtered pretty low, but I'm gonna boost that up too, just like I did with the choir. The choir. The choir. Right, let's follow just the root note to keep that. I'm not gonna do that low. 
that for the oh, no, I'll get there a little bit. And then that's just going to hold the very low sub root note. Alright, let's see how this sounds. Now this is essentially my entire layer buff. This is like my go-to mix template right here. Now, we're going to see how it sounds all together. Seven seconds worth of music. That is a great start. I mean, and this is all a virtual instrument. I personally completely use this for my music. I know I'll get a lot of flack for that. But I mean, I mean, you. this sounds great. I didn't have to edit anything. I didn't have to record anything. It literally took me, what, like 20 minutes to do that? Or a four measure beat. I mean, even if you don't go f all the way with using the virtual instruments, it's a good foundation for setting up a song and getting it on to your computer like that. Without all the hassle of having to plug your guitar in, get a good tone, and then edit it after that before you even mix. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And be ready for more tutorials to come.